Yo, 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 YouTube. Something exciting happened today. A brand new card shop in my area opened up, and we went to take a look. Check this out. Hey. How are you doing? Good, you? Pretty good. Some decent deals. It was kind of nice being there on the second day of the store opening. It opened on the 20th. I got in there on the 21st. So I feel like I got to kind of hit the dollar boxes early, if you will. Picked out a few things I know. I can resell um, maybe a couple things for the PC we'll see really surprised with how much wax the store had and the prices they had on it. it was really good so I'll be going back to pick up some wax that left side of the store you saw in the video is all gaming stuff like Pokemon so it's basically cards and games is kind of where what their store is focusing on the owner of this store is an owner that had owned a store over by Lambeau Field for years when I was growing up I went there for years and years and years as a kid so it was kind of cool um, to see that you know he's back in business if you will um, I did pick up some stuff from the dollar boxes and I'm going to show you that stuff right now so I did quite, find quite a few cards out of the dollar box I did get a bulk discount on these too I think this is like 50 cards and I paid I want to say $38 for those so really about 75 cents a piece, maybe a little less than that, so it was a pretty good deal. And then I bought a bunch of packs of these. So these are that grading size Beckett, um, what do you want to call these? You know, they call them shields, but they're basically like the, the protectors, the ones you would send in for grading. Anyway, um, I like using these for my PC. I've been switching out all my cards from like the Ultra Pro ones and stuff to these. I think they semi-rigid sets with there, um, but I like these a lot better. They are a little bit more rigid, if you want to call it that. I think it feels like the quality is a little plastic, more better plastic. They're a little more clear, and I really like the matte she, um, space on the top where you can write in what the card is. So you know you could write the year, the player, you could write serial number or parallel or type of insert whatever and or consequently if you send the card that you put in these to grading you can put the uh, the number here for your submission so i think they're they're really cool and i was buying these from another the other local card shop that i go to and i was paying 650 for these and i paid four dollars for these at this new store so that that's pretty significant savings so i'm glad i found a better a little bit better cheaper source to buy these unfortunately i'm about 60 to 70 percent way the way through my pc um at, you know buying these you know a few packs at a time and switching over so i don't have a, a ton more of these that i need but it's nice to know for the future especially because I'm, i plan to use these when i submit um once psa gets back to a, a normal pricing schedule so I, I might still have to go get some more of these anyway even after my pc is done let's move on to the cards so these were all in a dollar box and so a few jordans i think there's three or four of them here there wasn't a ton of jordan in there as you would expect out of a dollar box and this one's a little bit beat up i guess i didn't notice it as much there's a, a bit of a crease there 
but this is one of my favorite Jordan cards of base cards of all times, this skybox. And it's got him golfing on the back, which I always thought was pretty cool. So this is 1990 skybox. So for a dollar or 75 cents, if you will, at my bulk, I thought that was a good deal. This is a card. I just bought a mostly complete set of this uh, year. This is also Skybox. It's got him with, uh, I think that's a video camera on the back. Yeah. So anyway, I really liked the Skybox designs. It's very 90s, you know, the colors and so forth. But this is a uh, 91 Skybox. And that most mostly set that I bought for 79 cents, this was one of the cards that wasn't in it. So I thought it was pretty cool that I found it in a dollar box at the shop there. And then I bought one of these MJ exclusives. I know these aren't real sought after, but I'm kind of just, I'm at the point where just like Brady, if I find something for a dollar or less, I just buy it. It seems like a no brainer. I picked up a few other basketball uh, stars that are going into the playoffs. Unfortunately, Devin Booker, the day I bought this, Devin Booker got hurt. Um, I don't know if he's coming back at all, but I really liked this insert out of Optic. It's called Express Lane. It's nice and shiny. It's got a nice picture on it. Some colors. Optic is obviously very popular. And a uh, dollar for, for that I thought was a good deal. Got a couple of these Anthony Edwards Crusade rookies. Again, for a dollar, I think he is long-term going to be quite a star. Um, I, I think they're going to get bounced out of the playoffs, but... I, again, long term, I think that was a good buy for for a dollar. I can't beat that. Uh, these true colors inserts, I normally get four to five dollars a piece for these, so I thought for a dollar that was a good buy. Or I keep saying a dollar, but really it's like seventy five cents. These are interesting. I just buy them when I see them because I can never remember which ones I have. Uh, but what I liked about this one was it's actually the. Um, the uh, card moment zero, and I can't remember even if I have zero, but these go through like five or six, I think. And I th think you have to collect all four, and then there's a wild card that they made too, but I think you have to collect all four, fill them out, and then you can be entered into a contest to win a trip to Hawaii for the Pro Bowl, I believe it was. Um, but just kind of a weird odds and ends. I like the colors and stuff on it. I like the booklet style card and it has these different variations so I just uh kind of, again kind of buy those if I get them at a good price gold blaster gold is king this is clear metal yes it's 95 metal so it's not as rare or sought after but it's gold it's shiny mat nice color match to the uniform uh, for a dollar no brainer uh, ironically, I bought these two Super Bowl legend Bart stars. I try to pick up, pick, I'm trying to pick up more Bart star stuff as I go. It uh, is doing really well. The the old old footballs really starting to to pick up and gain some some respect, legends respect, kind of like Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle and all that kind of thing. And he was the you know MVP of the first couple Super Bowls. He won five championships altogether. You know, he's 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 quite a legend. Um, this was a Topps insert, I want to say. Yeah, it says right on there, insert. <laughs> um, funny, someone wrote it on there. But uh, ironically, I bought these, and like an hour later, I sold another Bart Star card out of inventory. So you'll see that in my sales day video, which I'll post probably tomorrow. And I picked up a Mario Lemieux. It's an SPX. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to do a little bit more hockey, but I'm just buying the bigger names. Especially 90 stars. I think there's a lot to uh, to gain on those, but just nice looking card. Whoops, nice looking card. This was a high end set at the time. It's shiny, got the nice gold on it. So thought again for 78 cents, why not? Or 75 cents, whatever that was. And then I bought the So Peachy Lesson Legends Bobby Hull. Bobby Hull is a hockey legend, of course. Played for the Blackhawks, which is an extremely popular popular team. So, just trying to expand, add a few different players in there. Got this Bo Jackson for a dollar. Look, it's in really good shape for 87 tops. It's kind of tough. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not a PSA 10 or anything, but um, a lot of times these are really off-centered. It is a little bit off top to bottom, but 
left to right's pretty good and just an iconic card. When I started buying cards, like by the box and packs and stuff, it was 1987 tops. They were everywhere in stores. Cards had exploded in value. The 85 McGuire was up to like a hundred bucks. And, you know, it's just kind of crazy times back then. But um, this is a card I definitely remember. The Future Stars. You know, it's kind of the kind of looks like the the more you know from the the old GI Joe and the cartoon. You know, Saturday morning cartoons messages. So just love that card. I was happy to pick up that. Got some nice. Um, 80s football stars. I keep buying these and they, they keep selling pretty well. So this is a 88. Well, these are all 88 tops. So this is Montana, Elway, and Marino. Um, Montana stuff does real well. Here's an 89 score. Such an amazing pivotal set in the history of football cards. I was happy to score a Montana there. Got a Brady Prism College. Um, probably not a lot of room on that, but it's still a Brady. This one was a good deal. This is 2020 Studio, I believe. Crywills Chronicles, but 19 Chronicles. Um, but the Studio cards actually sell pretty well. I'll probably get five bucks for that, so I was happy to pick that up. A uh, little vintage, why not? I got a Plunkett. Um, was in pretty good shape, well-centered. You know, for its age, definitely not mint, but a 1974 Jim Plunkett for 75 cents. Yep, vintage has been a big, big focus of mine. I'm trying to buy bulk, and um, they they sell pretty well. I, I get decent money for them. This one, um, it's score team, but it's the purple parallel, so a Brady card with a more rare par parallel. The purple ones are harder to get for a dollar or for seventy five cents, I guess. Again, uh, I couldn't pass that up. This is Mahomes again, just a base college prism, but Mahomes stuff does does well. Uh, this Herbert, it's the red game ticket parallel. I think I've actually sold one of these before. I'm not sure why I had a red parallel of a card I wasn't buying. Maybe I did buy these Contenders Draft. I, I don't remember, but uh, I know I sold one of these before and I did pretty well on it. So I, for 75 cents, I picked another one up. This is a Breeze College, but this is a, a, a silver. So a Breeze Silver for 75 cents, definitely. Breeze stuff does well still. Another one of those Prism Mahomes. Here's another 88 Montana. Uh, I got this. This is an extremely good shape, so I have to look at this closer, but it is super white. The corners are pretty much perfect. Um, kind of a cool card. It's Eddie and Walter were brothers. Eddie, of course, doesn't have any fame, but Walter Payton has a ton of it. Yeah, it was just kind of an interesting card. This is from 82 Tops. So a little bit earlier card in his his career. It's he's got a nice. It's it's just a lot of his personality there with the smile and the the headband and the crazy helmet hair and so just it's just an awesome card. So for seventy five cents again, that was a something I pick up. Here's another Peyton. Any Walter Peyton I would buy. He is he is such a legend. Has such a huge following and people have such a respect for him for everything he did. For charities and things, you know, the man, I think he was the man of the year. Well, actually, the man of the year award, I believe, is named after Peyton. I think it's the Walter Peyton Award. So, you know, just goes to show you what, what he did. But, again, just great photo. He's got his iconic headband on there. Um, and then this is 1982 tops. Here's a couple more of those Elways. Just don't see a lot of that stuff, the, the mid-80s stuff. So, trying to pick it up. It's a Dion rookie, Dion Sanders rookie card for seventy five cents. He, I mean, he is. He was amazing. I, I think his stuff will really pick up over time. Um, again, great photo of him. You know, he's got all his bling on and his glasses, and he was quite a character. Prime time. Uh, pick these two up. Uh, sometimes some of the Chrome stuff's a little bit harder to find, so. Two Farf Chrome, seventy-five cents a piece. I'll, I'll definitely make something on those. And then uh, this two thousand three Chrome Emmet. Two thousand three Chrome is kind of tough to find. This one's a little bit off-centered, but uh, Emmet stuff does pretty well. And I, I like the fact that this was his last year before he went to the Cardinals. So um, it actually has pretty much his entire Cowboys stats on the back, which I think makes it kind of a cool card. He's, you know, a legend, of course. 
I believe he owns a record that will never be broken since it's not a running sport anymore. Uh, and running backs don't play for 16 years or whatever craziness he played for. So uh, I don't, I think he's going to have a record that's going to stand. And a rushing record is a significant record. Uh, I picked this up. This was a Kaepernick rookie card. I think he actually had two. I, I don't know why I didn't buy both. But again, I think just long term, Kaepernick has a, a unique place in NFL history. It's a ni nice looking card. Um, and 75 cents. Why not? Not sure why I bought this one. I probably just like the look of it. But I really like these uh, Gridiron Kings. You know, they're kind of canvas or fabric looking. And Randy Moss. I don't know. I just have a... I want to buy Randy Moss stuff when I see it. I don't know why. Um, again, just a character, a legend. You know, number two behind Jerry Rice in my opinion. So, I don't know. 75 cents. That's okay. This one is interesting. This is Brian Bosworth, the Boz. He was quite a character back in the day. So, th And this is his rookie, so I thought 75 cents for a rookie of him. It's in pretty decent shape. Um, centering isn't too bad, which is, you know, most of the time what you have issues with then. But he used to shave weird stuff in the side of his hair. Punk, His punk haircut and an earring. Can you imagine? He wore an earring. So <laughs> he's a colorful rookie. Um it's funny how times have changed like an earring and a weird haircut is is like the common thing you know for the most part if you want to call it weird but anyway nicknamed the Boz um he, he actually was a really good player too I mean he had a lot of sacks and tackles and you know he was very aggressive and but anyway I saw that and I, I just thought I had to have that a couple more of those prism college Brady's uh, a Len Dawson I don't have a lot of Len Dawson stuff um, this is 72, so it's fairly early, and, uh, I mean, not early in his career. He had played for quite a while before this, but, yeah, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Kansas City, but, uh, just a nice photo, vintage, in real good shape. Um, centering is obviously not so great, but, um, for 75 cents, it's pick up some all-time quarterbacks. Why not? Here's a greasy, same thing, off-centered here, but, uh. You know, he was pretty good. Played for the Dolphins for basically forever. <laughs> um, and then a couple, oh, the last few vintage here. Here's another Fran. Or here's a Fran Tarkington. Not another one. This is a... First one I got. This is 78. Uh, I've sold some Frans in the, in the past. Here's another greasy. I love this one with the glasses. Can you imagine a quarterback just wearing big old, big old glasses when they're playing? 79 Dolphins. And then an OJ. This one's in really good shape. Uh, it's a little bit off-centered top to bottom, but otherwise it's in it's in perfect shape. This is a 78 as well. Oh, never mind. It's got like a stain or a wax on the back. But anyway, really nice eye appeal on the front. Uh, I definitely think that, you know, there'll be a buyer for that. O.J. Simpson stuff sells really well. He just has a, you know, everybody knows who he is. Probably not from football, but everybody knows who he is. And, and believe it or not, that matters. So those were my pickups from the brand new store. Uh, if you're in the Green Bay area, check it out. It's Green Bay City Cards and Games. I think that's what, it, what the official title of the store is, but uh, I'm excited to have another store in town and a store that especially that carries more wax. So that's it for this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have something to say. Always happy to hear from you. And uh, ring that bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon.